Thank you for inviting me to speak to you today. Although I could not be here in person, it is an honor for me to present this video to the Army aviation community. I am currently the commander of United Nations Command, Combined Forces Command, and United States Forces Korea, representing our great soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, Department of Defense civilians, and their families, serving in Korea on freedom's frontier. I would like to acknowledge the tremendous contribution our great aviation soldiers from the active component, the Army National Guard, and the Army Reserves make to our nation every day, whether serving on the Korean Peninsula, in Afghanistan, or other locations throughout the world, they are truly making a positive difference. During my 38 years of service, I've had the opportunity to command on 10 different occasions. I have been able to observe the dedication and commitment to excellence found in our aviation soldiers. They truly personify the Army values and are greatly appreciated throughout the Army and our nation. To each of over 20,000 Army Aviation Association of America members and our industry partners, thank you for your support for our soldiers and our Army. Over the last 56 years, your work at the individual, chapter, and national level has been a great benefit to the aviation branch. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the Korean War armistice. When the fighting broke out in Korea, Army aviation came of age with the addition of the helicopter, which was well suited for the rugged terrain of Korea. Army aviation firmly established itself as a vital part of any armed force. During the Korean War, Army aviation became indispensable for medical evacuations, command and control, and cargo transport. The Army emerged from the Korean War with the realization that Army aviation possessed the capability of revolutionizing tactical employment techniques. Over the last 60 years, Army aviation has been critical in upholding the armistice and deterring North Korean aggression. Army aviation has been defending the demilitarized zone, training with our ROC allies, and providing logistics support to our ground forces. Today, the 2nd Combat Aviation Brigade stands ready to defend the Republic of Korea. The brigade has a wide array of capabilities that can support the ground component commander in deterring aggression or defeating our enemies if deterrence fails. The Combat Aviation Brigade can conduct reconnaissance, security, and attack operations with its AH-64D Apache Longbow helicopters. It can also provide air assault, command and control, medevac, heavy combat lift, and combat support and combat service support operations. Just this last month, the Combat Aviation Brigade conducted air assault training and cold weather training with U.S. Marines and ROC Marines. The exercise demonstrated their ability to conduct joint combined operations in extreme weather conditions. The Aviation Brigade in Korea trains with the ROC forces all year round to ensure they remain ready to fight and win. Their ability to conduct complex combined, joint live fire 